hello, hello, welcome back. Some classic Smashing Pumpkins for you in this lesson. We're going to be looking at Tonight Tonight. Now the tuning for this bad boy is everything down half a step. Okay, so the whole guitar goes down one fret's worth. I'm going to be teaching you this in standard tuning, but just bear that in mind if you want to play along with the original. In terms of tone, you don't need a lot for this one at all. You need a clean tone. for all that good stuff. In fact, I think Billy's guitar might be clean throughout. And it might be James's that's actually slightly, slightly distorted. And pick up selection wise, I'm on the in-between uh, bad boy, the classic telly tone, which is, you know, bridge and neck pickup. And for the subtle overdrive parts, I'm using this bad boy, the Tube Dreamer from Jam Pedals. Basically a really nice TS-808 type um, tube screamer, right? So, you know. Just sounds great for that sort of stuff. But any kind of lowish um, overdrive really is going to get you in the ballpark there. So not a lot to it. Let's crack on with the first riff. Now it comes in with a little flourish on the four and that. So one and two and three and four. Okay, and thereafter you're just playing, you're just playing some uh, eighth notes, right? And then there's some accents. So essentially you're going from G, but I'm not really playing the whole G. Just playing the sort of top four strings or the low four strings there. And then you add the um, third fret on the A, right? And you do the same for the E minor. Right, and round. So, the whole thing goes like this. So it's pretty straightforward, it's just those two shapes. There's loads of dynamics in this as well, so just watch out for those. You're gonna be playing quietly, and I've highlighted the accents in the tab. So you've got. Okay, so the second bar is where they become a lot more apparent, because you've got. with the eighth notes pulsing, right? So let's slow that one down. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And then that again. So that once more. Take that finger off. When you move to the E minor, you can take all your fingers off, okay, from the G chord, right? So there. What I like to do is fret the, the G part, as I would do a normal G chord, but without my third and fourth fingers involved. And then I leave my first finger in situ, right? Even when I'm playing the third fret there, right? So I'm actually playing zero, 02 there. I have tab zero, zero, 0, but up to you if you want to play it that way. And then I'm just planting, you know, my second finger then on the second fret on the D when I get to the first accent, right? So, so if you could do that, do that. If not, just play. If you find that easier. That whole thing loops around twice on the second time. Uh, you will play, because uh, you're going to go into that bit, right? So you can't do the eighth notes because you need time to move your fingers. So you'll play. So it's just. And you've got time to change, okay? And this part's great, it just plays. just plays that round and then before it goes into the verse you get this all right now 
this part is a C add nine, but you don't really hear that second fret on the D, right? So what I do is I'm muting that with a little bit of meat off my second finger. Open uh, G, and then the third finger is on the B string. And you're gonna walk that down. Okay. Take it off, and you get this. So you've got that flourish again, leading into the D5, right? And the rhythm then is one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Okay. Down, down, up, down. All right. I mean, he's not going to play it identically every time, but this is the, the crux of the matter. And I'm actually covering the E string with my thumb so I can just hack away. So here, I've got the, the E string muted and the D string muted. And, and the E string actually at the top. That's just muted by my finger here, right? Same there. That's muted. That's muted. So I can hack away and you'll only hear those three notes. And then just before the verse, you'll hear. Leave that ring out, because then you need time to click off your overdrive, and then you're into the verse. And the verse is lush. It's quite easy, but it's just a repetitive um, picking pattern. So once you nail it once, you can do it throughout, right? It's just. Okay, so. That's the same thing twice, then you play. So you've got to hop over a string, right, when you're doing this, or a couple of strings sometimes. Then the fifth fret. I tend to play that on my little finger just because it's comfier than my, my um, third, or you could just slide your first finger up. Pretty straightforward, right? You play that three times, and then you shift it up to the seventh fret. And then the tenth. Pretty cool, isn't it? So, together that would be. part that comes in and again I would probably bang the overdrive on for this part goes all right and that actually extends that last one before you go back into that big again okay so those chords Similar thing to what you're doing here. But you're going. Okay, so you're walking the chord down again. So fret these however you like. I'm going for a standard G shape. And I use my thumb on the second fret, and then I go to a D5 shape. I've got my first and second fingers there. Standard E minor shape. And here, you. Leave this for a beat and a half, and then you start doing the, the little eighth note pulses, right? So you'll do five of those in each of these next three bars. So then A minor, C add nine, and around again. So the whole thing slowly would be three, four. goes 
back to the CR9 part. For three times, but he tags on this, an E to an, uh, an A sus2, I think. He puts a little fill in, so that goes. All right, so that is just eight of those, and then you go that's the, the melody, right? And that's it, and back around. go back into the intro part. Those are all the parts you need. Um, there's a slight difference I think in the outro because you'll play this. Just those two chords ringing out and then you're back into slow down part right so it comes out of that so G chord D5 with F sharp in the bass E minor and you're done hope you enjoyed that one see you again soon cheers bye bye